Shalom and hello, y'all. It's good to see you. I'm Rabbi Mike from family of Yahuwah in Bowman, South Carolina. We're here to celebrate his goodness, his kindness, and his love for all people. He made it. He made you. He made me. He made everyone. And so we can rejoice and be thankful for our lives. I want to start out with the Shema, and then we'll do the uh, part of this week's reading. Um, and we'll discuss just a little bit of it. And um, hopefully they have a good message to encourage you and strengthen your belief in Yahuwah. The Shema is in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah is our Elohim, our God. Yahuwah is the one and only. You shall love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your resources. And these matters that I command you today shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them thoroughly to your children, and you shall speak of them while you sit in your home, while you walk on the way, when you retire, and when you arise. Bind them as a sign on your arm, and let them be ornaments between your eyes, and write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. That is where we start. That is our kind of declaration of who we are and our relationship to him, who he is. He's the one and only. There are no gods, no, 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 no Elohim besides him. He is the one and only. And as we read the story of Jacob's ladder, the dream that Jacob had when he was leaving uh, Beersheba and heading toward Paran, uh, Yah has him encounter himself. And that's what part we're going to read today. We're going to read that portion from chapter 28 of Genesis. From 10, verses 10 through 22 to the end of the chapter. And um, so let's start. Genesis 28, 10. Jacob departed from Beersheba and went toward Haran. He encountered the place and spent the night there because the sun had set. He took from the stones of the place which he arranged around his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamt, and behold, a ladder was set earthward and its top reached heavenward. And behold, angels of Elohim were ascending and descending upon it. And behold, Yahuwah was standing over him, and he said, I am Yahuwah, Elohim of Abraham, your father, and Elohim of Yitzhak. The ground upon which you are lying to you will I give it and to your descendants. Your offspring shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall spread out powerfully westward, eastward, northward, and southward. And all the families of the earth shall bless themselves by you and by your offspring. Behold, I am with you. I will guard you wherever you go, and I will return you to this soil, for I will not forsake you until I have done what I have spoken about you. Yaakov, Jacob, awoke from his sleep and said, Surely Yahuwah is present in this place, and I did not know. And he became frightened and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the abode of Elohim, and this is the gate of the heavens. Jacob arose early in the morning and took the stone that he placed around his head and set it up as a pillar. And he poured oil on its top. And he named that place Bethel. However, Luz was the city's name originally. Then Jacob took a vow, saying, If Elohim will be with me, will guard me on his way, on this way that I'm going, will give me bread to eat and clothes to wear, and I return in peace to my father's house, and Elohim will be Elo will, and Yahuwah will be Elohim to me, then this stone which I have set up as a pillar shall become a house of Elohim. And whatever you will give me, I shall repeatedly tie it to you. Wow, hallelujah. What an encounter. I think we all encounter Yah in different ways at different times. But this is so important because we're all going somewhere. 
and we're all coming from somewhere. In this case, Jacob, Yaakov, is going toward his mother's home and leaving his father's house, his father and mother's home, because of the situation there with his brother Esau. But as we go toward, or the place that Yah has us go toward, we have to be mindful that he will lead us, he can uh, direct us, and he has a mission for each one of us. If we're willing to lay down, like Jacob did, and let Yah show you. Put yourself down and let Yah show you the way he wants you to go. And in this case, Jacob, Yaakov, went from being Jacob and he came back as Israel. He, he went as a single person and came back as a nation. Wow. When we let Yahuwah direct our lives, do what he has to do, do what he wants to do, do what we allow him to do in our lives, we can become a great people of Yahuwah as well. We can affect the whole world like the Jewish nation has, like Israel has become. Yah's chosen light for the world, Yah's messengers, and Yahuwah's directives for this world. And we can all uh, achieve this when we're obedient to Yahuwah, when we're ready to listen to him for our lives to be in his way, not our way. And we can always rejoice in Yahuwah. What Jacob said, what, what Father told him, what Yahuwah told him, I will bless you and all the earth, all the families of the earth shall bless themselves by you and your offspring. What better thing is there than that? To be blessed and to bless others. That's really our purpose in life because Yah wants us to be blessers of one another. We bless and thank him for everything and then we share what we can, whenever we can, with others. And that's part of Jacob's um, commitment or dedication or prayer. He says, if you bring me back, if you do this, if you take care of me, whatever you give me, I shall repeatedly tithe to you. And that word repeatedly or continually is important because something that we do continually is part of us. Not just a one-time thing, um, but something that becomes part of our character to continually give to Yahuwah as he gives to us. As the Feast of Dedication Hanukkah is coming, we can only be more dedicated to Yahuwah and start to think, what can I give you, Yahuwah, every day for what you've given me to share it? And so I will sing Shabbat Shalom to you all. Happy month of Kishlev. This is now Kishlev. And so Hanukkah is coming up, our feast of dedication. May we all be more dedicated to Yahuwah, the one and only. Shalom for now, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.